everybody, welcome to Brickball. My name's Jack, today's a very special episode because in front of me, I've got a Lego store exclusive set. That's right, this set is actually of a Lego store. You can only get it when a Lego brand store opens up and has a grand opening. There was only 400 of these things and I waited four and a half hours in line to get it, mostly in the sun. But looking at this box a little bit closer, you can see it's recommended for ages seven and up. It is set number 40145 and it has 413 pieces. Included is a single minifigure, though it's not a Lego store employee minifig, this is just a customer. And the store bisects open so you can see the interior which has a pick a brick wall, as well as many shelves of different Lego sets. Okay, I'm really happy that I managed to pick this set up and you can bet that it's definitely gonna go in the city. Let's find out how many bags are inside this box. All right, so here are the contents of the box. There are five bags in total. The biggest one isn't even really that big. There are three plate pieces, one small little bit for stickers, and we have our manual. So there's not that much to build. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty cool little set. Let's get started. So here we have the set in front of us. It's a quaint little store. And before I describe the features on the outside, let's just open this thing up and take a look at the interior. You can get it to fold out perfectly at a 180 degree angle. And there's a lot of nice details here, tons of colors. I really like it. Let's take a look, I guess, at the entrance section first. Here there are a couple of back parts for the uh, displays for the front windows, but the two closest things to us are a brick-built penguin, also on display I'm going to assume, and we've got a yellow box there that I can only assume is a play area. Now I do want to give you a closer look at some of the displays. This one here is pretty nice, let me just, if I can pop it off, and it's a great little build in the front, very colorful, and hold on let me fix that wing. Right, and we've got a nice little build for a plane. Also you can see sort of a covered up build for a house there, let me just turn it around, and this is what it's supposed to look like through the window, and I can only assume that they used that modified one by one piece for it to sort of look like a house window when you see it in the display in the front. On the other display area you can see we've got a little sticker logo for Lego but the main display is actually just a regular red 2x4 and I suppose it's time to address the dragon on the front of the store. It's a fun little build you can see the wacky head sticking out and a few more spots show the body kind of coming in and out of the walls of the building. I think he's supposed to be looking in one specific direction but I decided to make his eyes a little bit wonky. Now I'm unfamiliar with the origin of the Lego dragon, but I do know that it can be found at several different Lego stores all around the world. And this picture in the corner is the dragon from the Lego store in New York, I believe. And all right, I think I just totally got distracted. Let's go back inside and check out the other half of the interior that I said I was gonna do before I talked about the outside. Oh yeah, and the roof panels were designed to be taken off for easy access. Right, so anyways, the second half of this store is just so colorful, I really like it. We've got our pick-a-brick wall in the back with a bunch of really nice colors here, and it rests in front of a very simple build for a cash register. Now what rests on the sides are the actual Lego sets themselves, 
Once again, there's just so much color. These are all sticker detailings, by the way, that show off some of the uh, more popular themes. And the white bits down there, I believe, are some areas for sets that would be on display. Also, I feel like this is sort of an extra added touch, but it's nice that we're able to take the wall out and look at it like this so easily. These two sections on either side are identical and only fit in on two studs, so you can take it out and you're supposed to kind of be able to show your friends or whoever's checking out the set. It's a very simple thing that they did, but it's almost like the designers knew that when you got the set, you could take out the part and show your friends, hey, it comes with this set, that set, and X, Y, and Z. Anyways, let's check out the fig that came with the set. She's got an excellent print for the torso piece, sort of a tied off sweater that has a shirt with stars underneath and a heart necklace, very detailed. And she comes with a pretty uncommon bun piece for her hair. That's a great little build for her Lego bag when she makes a purchase, very clever and instantly recognizable. Now this is where I'm gonna complain a little bit. I know this was an exclusive set that I got for free. Well, free with the purchase of something, but I'm just wondering why the minifigure that came in the set wasn't a Lego store employee. We have a cash register and in my mind any lego minifigure could easily be a lego store customer and with that that was my only real complaint this is the whole set together it's a wonderful little build absolutely awesome that i happen to just live right around the area where this exclusive set was being released and this episode is not over yet it is time to put this thing into the city so uh <laughs> that was fast currently it is residing in between our brick bank and the town hall and it has actually already been modified to fit on a 16 by 32 plate or base plate more rather so yes this is now a little modular lego store and we also wanted to do this so we could fit the uh, build for the sidewalk in so it would match the rest of the city all right so that is it for this episode thanks a lot for watching everybody if you enjoy our content remember you can always like or subscribe stay tuned for more lego city updates there's still a lot more left to build and uh yeah so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time at brick vault Oh, my God.